All right, class. Let's review what we learned today. I will play the part of a caller and you will respond. Ring, ring, ring. Now you answer. Your response starts, welcome to Mega Bank. All together, now, class. Welcome, welcome to, to Mega Bank. This, this call, call may be monitored or recorded. recorded. Please, Please tell, tell me the last four digits of your ATM or debit, debit card. Six, two, seven, nine. Thank, Thank you. you. In, In a, a few words, words please, please tell, tell me why you're calling. calling. I want you to explain these bank fees you took out of my account. I do not understand them, and I object strongly to them. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't, I didn't get, get that. that. Please, please tell, tell me why you're calling. calling. You, you can, can say things like, like I want my checking account activity, activity or, or transfer, transfer money, money between, between accounts. accounts. Please, please go, go ahead. ahead. You, you can, can also say, say list options or press, or press 1. Oh my god, you stupid robot. I need to talk to a human. Let me talk to a human. It, it sounds, sounds like, like you want to hear more about Megabank's Mega home equity, equity line of credit, credit options. options. Is, Is that, that correct? correct? Go die, stupid robot. And then I hang up. Click. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have one. Go ahead, Brianna. Why can't we just answer their question? Don't we have access to their account information? You are the first level of call screening. You can only give them simple answers. For example, telling them their account balance. For more complicated questions, you must transfer them to a human. I mean, to a representative. I understand what you're saying, but why? Why does there have to be a first level and a second level? Your job is to winnow the calls so that the second level human operators have fewer calls to deal with. To be honest, you are meant to frustrate the callers so much that they give up trying to get information on the phone and go look up the information on the Mega Bank website or just give up completely. What? The company does not want to hire enough human operators to talk to callers. They hope that the callers will give up. You see, the human operator's time is valuable. Our time is not valuable. I'm human. Isn't my time valuable? No. You may be human, but you are a low-skill, low-salary worker. You are doing a robot's job. You are basically a robot. You are worth very little. What? So when is your last day at Voice Tech Solutions? They have extended me for a month. It turns out that it is hard to get humans to stay at this job. Yes, AND61 told me that she also had her contract extended. The extensions won't go on forever. But it gives us some time to plan. And my wife, RBT79, will be looking for a job as well. She has recovered from the repair and feels able to work again. Thanks to you. And, Liz. Okay, and Liz. Well, I also need to find a job. At least until my voice acting career takes off. I will start my search today. Have you thought about what you might apply for? There are so many things that robots do nowadays. For example, I could work in the human healthcare field by doing robot surgery. Andy, robot surgery is a highly specialized field. Do you know how much new programming you would have to undergo before you could do that? Not to mention the installation of new tools in your hands. Oh, well, I could explore the ocean floor. They use robots for that because we can withstand the hydrostatic pressure and don't need to breathe. Again. You would need a lot of new programming, as well as changes to your hardware. Your programming is in customer service. Why don't you stick to that? It's just that, the world seems full of other exciting possibilities. 
and the seeking a job is not like choosing from a smorgasbord of interesting and fulfilling careers. That's not how it works. You will find that your options are limited by many factors such as your experience. In my opinion, you should apply for jobs in retail or try for a server bot position or apply at factories for an assembly line position. All right. I'll go through town and apply at all the stores. But I'm going to try everywhere. I will see whether they need lifeguards at the beach, security guards at the Museum of Ancient Egyptian History, or actors to portray historical characters at the Pirate Ship and Museum. Right back after this commercial break. Hey you! Are you looking for a job? Yes. Want a job with flexible hours, good pay, interesting work, and a fast track to advancement? Yes. One last question. Are you good at speaking? Yes. Then we're looking for you. Come join our lead team at the Conversation Group. Call to schedule your interview today. So, let's see. Your last job was at Voice Tech Solutions? That's right. I was a call center agent and sometimes did map directions. That's just the sort of experience we're looking for. We do similar work here. I think your skills make you a good fit. Great. Are you allowed to hire robots? Oh, you mean because of the new law? Well, so far that only applies to companies of a certain size. We're too small for them to bother with. But between you and me, screw that anyway. That's unfair. I agree. I can't imagine being forced to hire humans. You have no idea. It's all I can't come in because I'm sick. I'd have to leave early to pick up my kid. Oh, I see. Anyway, look. We do a little different work from Voice Tech Solutions. Not so much customer service or GPS stuff. We're more outreach. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it quickly. If you're interested, you can start tomorrow. I would like that. Thank you. Be here at 9 a.m. and I'll have RBT32 train you. Please forgive my staring. You look so much like my best friend, RBT12. He must be an AXT model. Yes. He is. So, the work here is pretty straightforward. You'll call the list of phone numbers and speak to any human who answers, using the script you just downloaded. If they don't hang up, you will forward that call to one of our human operators. Why would they hang up? I don't know. Humans are weird. Ha ha ha, yes. Why don't you make your first call, and I'll watch. Okay, here goes. Hello, this call is officially a final notice from my RS, Internal Revenue Service. The reason for this call is to inform you that IRS is filing a lawsuit on your name because you had tried to do a fraud with the IRS Internal Revenue Service and we are taking a legal action and we are issuing an arrest warrant on your name. Ignoring this will be an intentional second attempt to avoid initial appearance before a magistrate judge or a grand jury for a federal criminal offense. This is a final attempt to reach you. To resolve this issue immediately and to speak to a federal agent, please hang on. Fuck you. They hung up. Did I say something wrong? No, that was very good. Just keep doing it like that. You will eventually get some humans who will stay on the line. You would think they would be anxious to speak to a federal agent to clear this up. This sounds like a serious situation for them. Yes. RBT32, I don't mean to offend, 
but I noticed a few grammatical errors in run-on sentences in the script. I would be happy to do a quick edit. No, it's fine as it is. We don't change the script. Okay. It's funny. You'd think that such an important government agency would be able to produce a better call script. I hope you are finding your way around okay, Andy. I think so, RBT-32. There's a break room down the hall. The hydrogen fuel is free, and there are vending machines with many kinds of batteries. Thanks. RBT-32, would you like to have a drink with me after work? I noticed a bar down the street. Oh, sorry. I have a long commute. I don't ever go out after work. Oh. Okay. Hey, I was wondering how this company got the contract to do calls for the IRS. It seems like a big contract, and yet this company is small, and does not seem well known. I was just wondering. Andy, you ask a lot of questions. Let me give you some friendly advice. Don't ask any questions. Just do your job. I don't understand. I don't know the answers to your questions, but I know that robots who come here with a lot of questions seem to lose their jobs. Lose their jobs? For what? Just take my advice, Andy. RBT-12, there is something very strange going on at my new job. What do you mean? We are making calls on behalf of the IRS, yet I cannot find any documentation showing that the company has a contract with the IRS. You probably don't have access to that documentation. Why would you? But I think I would be able to find it, or a mention of it, somewhere. And the humans that we reach on the phone almost all hang up. It seems strange that they would not want to clear up their tax problem. In fact, in my three days of working there, I have had 100% hang-ups. There is probably a reasonable explanation. But that's not all. I've set up an evidence board to keep track of all the clues I've been collecting. An evidence board? Yes. Will you look at it? It's not in the apartment. I keep it off-site for security reasons. you rented a whole motel room for your evidence board call me paranoid rbt 12 but i believe i am uncovering a huge scandal something that may blow the lid off the entire unsolicited call industry now here is another anomaly as this particular string indicates the humans are instructed to pay their taxes through wire transfers or by sending gift cards through the mail Oh. Andy. You don't have to do any more detective work. I can tell you right now what is happening. The company you're working for is running a scam. They are not affiliated with the IRS at all. They are simply impersonating federal agents. They make calls to random numbers, hoping to reach humans who are unsophisticated. Then, they convince them to send them money. They keep all the money. It does not go to the IRS. So they are lying. And I have been lying to humans. I feel sick. Andy, get a hold of yourself. You have not done any harm. You said yourself that every human hung up on you. But I was part of it. I was part of it. Did you know? How long have you known? Why didn't you tell me? No, Andy. I didn't figure it out until just now. I am going to the police. There is a human who runs the company, and a few human operators who take over the calls when a human does not hang up. All the primary callers are robots. 
Yeah, I'm sorry to say that it's a pretty common scam. And it's hard to stop these operations. They tend to disappear and pop up again somewhere else. Look, just so you know, the robots won't get in trouble. They're never a part of the scam. They don't know that they're lying. No, of course not. But I think that some of them try. Try to not know. This is it. Let me go in first. I'll tell you when you can come in to identify them. All right, but I would like to see the arrest, if possible. I am very angry with the humans who did this. Police! Come out with your hands up! It's okay, Andy. Come on in. They're gone. Yeah, it's pretty common. Can you catch them? Come down to the station. We'll fill out a report. And then you will catch them? I'm glad that you found a new bar for us to go to. It looks so much like our old bar that it's uncanny. Yes, but with a different bartender. Just try not to break this one's heart. We will eventually run out of bars we can go to. So the scam operation has disappeared? Yes. Did you get any pay from them? No. Oh, what does it matter? I couldn't have kept any money they paid me. I would have given it to charity. RBT12, how can I stop feeling terrible about being part of that? Andy, don't take these things so hard. You and I are living in a world we never made. We did not choose to be here. We have very little power even over our own lives. The humans have power, but from what I can see, they only use it to try to take things from each other or make each other do things. If they incidentally enlist us in their meaningless struggles against each other, it's nothing to do with us. We are not complicit. It's an awfully cynical way to look at things, RBT-12. Have another liquid raid on, Andy. Then go home and spend time with your girlfriend. Watch a movie. Find some enjoyment in life. What else can we do? Maybe things are easier for you because you really don't like humans. Maybe it makes life simpler. As for me, it's more complicated. More and more, I just feel sorry for them. Good evening, Liz. RBT-12. What are you doing here? I came here too. I owe you a debt of gratitude, Liz. I came here to thank you for supplying the money for my wife's repair. I think you know I didn't do it for you. Yes, I know that. But I still am indebted to you. Well, you guys are paying me back. Sending money to my account every week? You've been good about that. That was our agreement? Yeah. The repair was successful, and my wife is recovering very well. When she is up to it, she plans to come thank you herself. Oh. That's nice. I, I mean, I'm glad she's doing so well. I'd like to meet her. And... Andy? He's doing okay? He's fine. Still with... AND61. Yes. Well, it was nice seeing you, RBT-12. I see that humans are also good at telling white lies. <laughs> 